Okay, and we are back. We uh, finished up our first episode with Harrison Reese, and now joining me, our second contestant, is rising sophomore defenseman Carter Berger, also goes by Berge. So, Carter, where are you? How's quarantine been? Give us the update on your life. Yeah, I'm just I'm hanging out at home right now in uh, North Vancouver. Uh, the virus, I mean, luckily we've been pretty fortunate here. The virus hasn't... Uh, hasn't really been too bad so I mean the restrictions have started started to get lifted and you know being able to see see more friends more family and uh yeah I mean life life hasn't been too bad all right so it's resuming a little bit just like everywhere mm-hmm. else kind of um all right so let's jump right into it get this off get this going um so Harrison Reese referred to a simple pie at uh Blaze Pizza in downtown stores so I just wanted your take on what a simple pie is Ah, uh, the simple pie. Well, that's for for old Reeser there. That's I mean, that's his go to. I mean, whether whether it's lunch, dinner, you know, a snack, pregame, post game, he, <laughs> he loves the simple pie. He'll he he eats those for sure. And, you know, that's that's his go to. That's what he loves. All right. I think the fans wanted to know what the simple pie was. He didn't really describe it well. So there it yeah. is. Um all right, jumping right into it. So what's your favorite pump up song? Uh, that's a tough one. I mean, I think it's, it's hard to choose one. I mean, I think you and, and the rest of the boys know I'm, I'm a pretty old fashioned guy. I love, I love my rock and, uh, I don't know. I think I'll, I'll, at the end of the season, Riggy and I, we were getting big into the, uh, the rush. So yep. anything by rush that, that fires me up. Greta Van Fleet there. They're another one of my favorites. So, I mean, anything by those guys gets me going. I love that. Also, uh, animals, all the boys know that's one of your Yeah. Favorite. Yeah. Nickelback too. Can't forget them. Big fan. <laughs> All right, so I think most of the fans know you were drafted by Florida. So what was your favorite part about being at the draft and being drafted to the Panthers? Yeah, it was the draft was uh was an awesome experience for for not only me but my family as well. I mean, it being in Vancouver, I mean, just a 10-15 minute drive down down to the city there and I mean to to be able to, you know, to be drafted in my hometown with with all my family and, you know, friends there too. To, uh you know, support me. It was, it was pretty special and it was, you know, something I'm going to remember for the rest of my life. Love it. Love it. Um, so where do you play before UConn and what was your favorite memory there? Yeah, I had the, uh, the privilege to spend, uh, three seasons in the British Columbia league with the Victoria Grizzlies and I loved it. They, it was awesome there. I mean, as far as a favorite memory goes, I think it's, it's tough to choose one. I mean, uh, all the playoff runs each year were, were unbelievable. I mean, I was, I was pretty fortunate to, uh, you know, be each year I was there, you know, we, we were competitive. We were a solid team, you know, competing for, for our division in the league every year. So, I mean, just being a part of that was cool, but I mean, I think if I had to choose, choose one thing, it'd probably just be the people and the relationships that I made there. I mean, I still keep in touch with, with a lot of those guys on a regular basis and, you know, consider, consider a lot of those guys some of my best friends to this day. So, Victoria is definitely uh, a second home to me and, you know, has a special place in my heart. So if I remember correctly, you did beat the Powell River Kings where uh, Johnny Evans and Carter Turnbull played, correct? We did, yes. I mean, we we ended up how it was. We played them in the second round in all three of my years there. And my first year, when Johnny and Carter were on the team, we beat them in uh, – it was a Game 7 overtime win at home. It was, it was crazy. Then my second year – so it would have been their their last year. They they beat us in the second round, and then my my final year. I mean, they they weren't there, but I mean, I still the rivalry with the team was still you know as good as it's ever been, and we we luckily got to get them again in uh, in seven games at home. You got so. bragging rights for sure. Yeah, I I got the best two out of three. So I mean, I I let them know <laughs> that's for sure. All right, so moving on. Um, favorite memory on or off the ice at UConn? Jeez, that's another tough one. Uh, yeah. It's tough. It's tough to choose just, you know, one thing. There are so many, so many great moments this year. I think for me, it'd be probably just be, you know, that last month, month and a half of the season when yeah. just down the stretch, I mean, we were, we were playing so well, we were finally starting to, you know, find our groove and hit our stride as a team. And that was, you know, it was fun to come to the rink every day. And I mean, we had, we had that winning mentality, you know, we were going into to every game with, with the mindset that we were going to come out of there with two points and a win. So I think just those last, you know, yeah. five six seven eight games however many it was it was you know it was a fun time to be playing hockey yeah it was loose it was fun good yeah. momentum to bring in next year um all right so favorite pregame meal 
Uh, I'm pretty basic, you know, cliche, chicken pasta, chicken rice. I'm, you know, I'm nothing flashy. I like the fruit they give us at the, the <laughs> there. That's kind of my, my dessert for my pregame meal. They'll, you know, they get the pineapples and the blueberries, the raspberries. I like, I like that stuff. But I mean, as far as the meal goes, just, you know, chicken, chicken rice, chicken pasta. I'm, I'm not that picky. Whatever gets you ready, eh? Yeah. All right. So favorite thing to do with the boys? Jeez. Uh, well, I mean, you know, we, we love getting together to, uh, you know, watch hockey games. I mean, I'm, I'm a big hockey guy. I know, you know, our good buddy Riggsy, he's, he's huge into the hockey. So, I mean, just, you know, throughout the week, guys finish up their homework, you know, pop over, watch a couple of games. It's, that's what I like doing. I mean, it's fun. Just, you know, hang out guys being guys. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, I know Reeser is big in the candy, but I see he was a little bit of a dessert guy. So I think not only was I wondering, but also the fans, what's your favorite dessert? Ah, these are some tough questions, man. <laughs> uh, I mean, you can't. I, from I, I, love, I love my ice cream. I mean, who doesn't? I think it's, right. it's tough to go. I'm a pretty plain when it comes to that. Like, I, I like my vanilla. Yeah. You know, maybe, maybe a slice of blueberry apple pie to go with it. But Whatever hits the sweet tooth. Yeah, I'm I'm not too picky. I mean, dessert's dessert, you know, they're all yeah. good. All right, good. Uh, all right, that's a good answer. All right, um, favorite place to eat on campus or in downtown stores, wherever it may be, just around school? Uh, well, you know I love my Putnam. Yep. You know, that's, that's, <laughs> my go -to. that's my Reese or Simple Pie is the putty. But. And um, for the fans that don't know, Carter Berger will be living in Hilltop next year, so he <laughs> will be staying at the Putnam Dining Hall and won't be moving to South. Absolutely. No, but he has my heart. But, uh, <laughs> as far as off-campus places, I don't know. I mean, I think that uh, that Hibachi place we went to, I went there a couple times. That, yeah. was, that was pretty neat. I've never been to a place like that where they, you know, they cook the food right in front of you. And you know, I think that was pretty cool. I like that. I like that Applebee's too. They don't, they don't have that in Canada, but. It was, no, it was Applebee's good. is good. That's I heard like, I mean, it's a little greasy, but you know, they got good deals there. It's, I had a good time the times we went there. It was fun. Yeah. All right. I like that. Applebee's is underrated for sure. Yeah, for sure okay. underrated. Um, favorite part about playing college hockey? Um, I think just the fans. Okay. I mean, yeah. no matter – I mean, we're so lucky too being in Hockey East. I mean, no matter no matter what rink we're playing, what team we're playing, I mean, the atmosphere is always great. I mean, mm -hmm. it's, it's a little, you know, frustrating being with, you know, next season being up in the air about what they're going to do with fans and stuff. But, I mean – as far as last year, like just like the fans, they, they make it what it is. Like just they they bring so much energy and you know, they, yeah. they're a huge factor into any game we play. So I think yeah. they're definitely the, the number one thing for me. Yeah. Home or away. It's fun no matter where we are, honestly. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, all right. So we're going to head into the speed round. It's going to be shorter than Reese's candy one. Cause there were so many candies, but Knowing you're an outdoors guy and you live in Vancouver, I figured we do Vancouver outdoor activities. All right, so boating or hiking? So I have to go boating. We grew up on the boat. We had a we had a cabin on the lake up in the the Okanagan. So I've kind of that's been second nature to me my whole life, pretty much. Okay, um, biking or fishing? I gotta go biking. I've been big into the cycling since I've been back. It's kind of been my my new hobby. You've been getting up the mountains. Ah, uh, yeah, a couple mountain climbs. More just, you know, I'm trying to look for, you know, long flat rides. But no, it's good. Okay. I love it. It's good workout too. Yeah, yeah. Um, camping or swimming? Gotta go swimming. Both my parents are swimmers. I'm sure you know that. And, yep. You know, done that my whole life. So I go swimming. Yep. Um, cliff jumping or tanning? Because I mean, you look like you got some color there right now. <laughs> yeah, I mean both. I love both those things, but you know, I'd probably probably have to go with tanning. You know, I mean, you know, the boys know I love I love my time in the sun. Yep, yep. Um, why don't you give the fans a little background on your family's uh, athletics? Because you mentioned your parents swimming. So yeah, so you know? uh, my dad he he was a national team swimmer for uh, for Canada and attended. He went to the uh, University of California Berkeley. And uh, my mom, she was also on the national Canadian swimming team, and she she went to the uh, University of British Columbia, just home in Vancouver here. So it's in the bloodline, the athletics, huh? Yeah, I don't know how I ended up being a <laughs> hockey player, but you know, it's pretty cool that you know they 
they're high athletes and just, you know, looking back and seeing what they did when, you know, they're my age, it's pretty cool. Yeah. It's the way she goes, right? <laughs> yeah. All right. So favorite part about Vancouver. I could, I could go on forever about this, but yeah, I know. No, I'd probably just say, I mean, just the scenery, I mean, the mountains, the ocean, like there's, there's just so many beautiful spots. I mean, we, we've been lucky, you know, I've been able to, you know, get outside a lot and over the past couple of months here since I've been home and weather's been beautiful. So I think just the scenery, I mean, every, there's so many different beautiful spots to, to explore. And, you know, I love, I love living here. I love growing up here. All right. So we're going to let you go now. Thanks for joining us, Carter. Um, Carter will be my direct roommate next year. So we're excited about that. Um, yes. Can't wait to get back on campus with the boys, but uh, a good episode too, Carter. Thank you for coming along. And yeah. that's all we got for this week. Yeah. Thanks for having me, Adam. It's been yep. a pleasure. Absolutely. Go Huskies. Go Huskies.